Hey, it's Phil with the Go Sold Real Estate Group, powered by HomeSmart. This is Kevin Belzer. Where are we at, Kevin? 3813 North, 195th Way in Buckeye, Arizona. We have a beautiful custom home to show you, a ton of upgrades, but before heading inside, where do you want to take them? We're going to show them how close shopping is to this home, as well as a really cool hiking trail over in Verado. And before we do that, I got to ask you a really important question. Does Buckeye actually have shopping? Oh yeah, there's tons and they're building more. They're going to put a new marketplace out here that's going to compete with some of the larger ones that, that you're aware of, you know, like your desert ridges and stuff like that. Nice. Shopping! It's all I, new! I know, and the house is literally right there. This is perfect. So as you can see, a lot of new construction going on right behind us. It's gonna be a Goodwill, taco place, coffee place, and then across the road, Fry's Grocery Store, AutoZone, gas station, as well as a Burger King. Remember we filmed at that Burger King years ago and there was nothing out here? There's absolutely nothing. And one of the cool things to see is that Fortune 500 companies typically don't invest in the areas unless they know that there's a demand. Yep, absolutely. And this is not the only shopping that's gonna be around here. Verado's a community right next to this. They're adding the huge marketplace down there. And like I said earlier, it's gonna be the size of Desert Ridge Marketplace, that kind of size. So if you're familiar with that, that means tons of shopping within a convenient five, 10 minute drive. Huge benefit with any community is the surrounding views. This one, it's 360. It is 360, right over the fence. You've got mountains, you got the white mountains behind us, lots of trails. You know what we should do? We should go show them some of the trails. I like where your head's at. All right, where are we at? How far away from the home is it? We're at the Verado Trails, the Verado Petroglyphs. This is, what did it take us, less than 10 minutes to get here? Mm -hmm. It's one of many trails in the White Mountains over here. And I love this one. It's got a gain of 419 feet. It's a 4.3 mile loop. So it's a good little workout to get around this one. Nice, and then not only do you have beautiful views, but what is some of the history of the petroglyphs? Wikipedia research. These are from prior to 1971. Okay. Is that, that, does that work? <laughs> kind of, kind of. Yeah. Anything else? They're probably thousands of years old would be, be my guess, but do we really know? Probably not, but. Probably not. That's it for the petroglyphs. Let's head to the home. We are finally here. Let's talk about the neighborhood. Oof, what a neighborhood. Every home in here is a custom home and they all range from 4,000 square feet over 8,000 plus square feet if you're not going to count the people's casitas that they have. Wow, yeah. All right, so upgrades to the front yard itself. It, it's not a small yard. No, you're 1.211 acres of land. So not just an acre, if you need that point 211, you're set. <laughs> All right, on this one, it is fully landscaped front and back. So that's tens of thousands right there. It has the wall as well going all the way around the property. That's about 30,000 just there. Easily. Your brick driveway in the front is not only one leading to the garage, but it also has the roundabout up front that goes right to the front door. That is 40, 50,000 just in pavers alone plus the giant rocks they have. They didn't cheap out on anything here. No, they didn't. And one of the things that I noticed even pulling up to it for the first time is the curb appeal. Like rarely do you see these columns on custom homes. No, and it's gotta be expensive as well. They, they did not miss a beat. The owner of this property, the one selling it right now, is the one that built the home. And he did everything as they're gonna see when we go through the property. All right, let's just talk about specs. We'll do the upgrades later. Okay, <laughs> single story, uh -huh. custom home, 4,005 square feet, three and a half car garage, four bedroom, three and a half bath. All right, this master bedroom's like being in two bedrooms, but let's go over some of the upgrades. Obviously it's big, but what are some of the other unique upgrades to it? So sitting room right, right as you walk in, you have the three-way fireplace, you have the kitchenette. Rare. Beyond rare, when's the last time you saw one? Especially in a master. Yeah, 19 never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kitchen's custom, very big deal on that. The master bedroom is probably twice the size of most master bedrooms, just the sleeping section alone. And another big ticket item too is throughout the house, it's a very constant theme of they did not cheap out on anything. So you have the granite even in the kitchen area, the tile, the stonework, all that stuff is throughout. 35,000 in granite work throughout the property. 
alder cabinets throughout the property at a cost of $55,000. There's nothing cheaped out on this. You have the crown molding as well. That's not a cheap upgrade. This is a huge master bathroom. It is. Two entrances to a master. Again, 19 never have I seen that. <laughs> That's really cool. Right behind us is the shower with the tub area built in behind glass. I have started to see this feature popping up more and more in custom homes. I was glad to see that they had done it as well. But where Phil and I both entered, each side has its own sink area, plenty of counters, linen storage, the whole nine yards. Now where the photographer's standing, he's gonna have to superimpose the photos on that <laughs> because what we have is three closets and the one he's standing in is only for shoes. Wow. Small detail about the shower itself is rarely do you see it enclosed. So you have the stand-up shower, but then right next to it is the garden tub, but it's also enclosed all in one area, so yeah. it's not separate. We are starting to see it in newer custom homes, but this is definitely a feature that they were ahead of their time because the home was built in 2015. Then thinking ahead like they did, just brilliant. Because you can just imagine how you're never going to feel cold in there. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's a wall of glass. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. All right, kitchen, double islands. What else does this include? It's been our theme the last couple of weeks is having these kitchens with the double islands, right. but you can only find it in the luxury homes. Mm -hmm. So you do have the double islands with sink areas in both dishwasher over in the second island over there. Behind us, gourmet kitchen, mm -hmm. chef kitchen. If you like to cook, plenty of room. If you like to entertain, plenty of room. You've got the built-in Frigidaire Gallery Edition, double ovens, gas cooktop. Gas is very important if you're a cook. Hood above, as well as a built-in Bosch microwave. So it, it's decked out. It is, and then I have to bring this up again. It's not cheap for the cabinets, granted. No, no it's like the cabinets alone, they're alder cabinets. $55,000 in just cabinets in this home. Wow. The granite throughout the house was right at $35,000. Wow. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the floor plan itself. So you walk into the property, mm -hmm. what type of floor plan is it? So you go to the left and immediately you have a bedroom with its own bathroom. They're currently using it as a den, as a bedroom. Then uh, straight ahead of you, you have the living room. To your right, you have a formal dining room, and that's that area. Down one of the wings is two bedrooms. There are Jack and Jill set up with a bathroom in between. There's also a guest bathroom in the hallway. So you don't have to worry about that. Laundry room, huge. It's got the sink, the granite countertops, tons of cabinets, huge laundry room there. Now, the back of the home is where the master is. We already went over the master with its kitchenette and the big sitting room and the three-way fireplace and all that. It, it's what, a thousand square feet alone is Easily. just the master. Yep. At the very back of the home as well is the kitchen setup, and then where we're standing right now is the great room. Backyard is huge, so we're gonna break it up into four sections. Let's start off with section one. Section one would be the RV gate side, so the right side of the property. Unique feature of this property is that you are allowed to construct two additional buildings detached from the home. So if you wanna do an RV garage, you certainly can. So that's section one right there. What you're gonna notice though as you come in is all the block walls that we talked about, about 30, 40,000 walls. And then everything's on a drip system and fully landscaped. Section two, you don't see this a lot. Beautiful built-in barbecue, but it's not just a barbecue. It's more expensive than most kitchen remodels. Yeah. The outdoor kitchen on this one was again, right around 30, $35,000 for it. And then right past that is a nice astroturfed area that they have outdoor furniture sit sitting. And then, oh yeah, a pool. There's a pool right behind me. It's absolutely gorgeous. Pool to, this kind of pool to build now with the landscaping that's around it, 80 grand? Easily. Yeah, easily 80 grand. Could be pushing 100 on it. Very expensive. As you're seeing again and again, expensive upgrades throughout this property. And one little small thing with the built-in barbecue, a lot of times when you see built-in barbecues, they don't have this huge extended island area to yeah. sit at and entertain. Yeah, this one you can sit just on one side, seven bar stools on that one side. And it does have the gas cooktop as well as the built-in barbecue, two built-in fridges, and a sink area too. All right, section three of this property. This is not a Ramada you get at Costco. No, this is a custom-built Ramada. This is 24 feet by 24 feet. It's all wired to where you can have a TV in it. It's got ceiling fans. It's even got that 
fire and ice gas pit. Wow. And, and yeah, it's nice. absolutely gorgeous. And next to it is another astroturfed area with a jacuzzi hot tub. Nice, and then just to be clear, there is light to the Ramada. Absolutely. This is a true entertainer's dream day or night. Last but not least, section four. Okay, what we need to reiterate is how much yard there is to work with. <laughs> like if you want to build yeah. additional buildings, HOA allows two additional buildings on this property. Nice. So we got plenty of room back here. Again, everything's on drip systems. The whole property is walled in. It's all landscape, but if you want to add additional things, you can. But there's one major feature that we need to show over here, and that is Where? the putt-putt green. Now, the big thing about the putt-putt green is that if you're a professional miniature golfer, this is key to your career, and you got four holes over here to practice on, plus a sand trap as well. All right, thank you so much for joining us today at this beautiful custom home in Buckeye. If you have questions about buying or selling, let us know. And until next time, have a great day. <laughs> also, if you want to set up a showing. Well, let me call 480-305-6688 or go to our website, gosoldhomes.com. Until next time, have fun.